Hi! Due to the way YouTube works, I want to make a quick announcement before this video. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button or leaving a small comment. It really helps. If you feel like helping even more, you can check my Patreon or Ko-fi accounts. All the links are in the description box. Thank you! Greetings! In today's video, I want to take a look at the beautiful earth colors set by Kremer. For those who are unfamiliar with the name, Kremer is a company focused on pigments. It's where a lot of us paint makers get our pigments and supplies. They carry an amazing range of colors from all sources, whether it's synthetic or natural pigments. They also offer their own range of ready-made watercolors and sets, in various color selections. The set I have here is their Earth Colors set. It's a beautiful selection of 14 colors in full pans, in a nice metal tin branded with the Kremer logo. The set came in a really nice cardboard box, nicely packaged. Inside the tin, there's a hand-painted swatch card, very helpful to reference the colors. There was also a layer of bubble wrap to further protect the pans. This tin has rounded edges, which is a blessing. All of us who have gotten sets from Schminke will instantly know what I'm talking about. It's a super nicely made tin, with a tray insert and plenty of space to mix. The inner lid holds straight out and doesn't dip. These are professional range paints and it shows in the presentation, quality and price. I went for this specific set because I loved the color selection and was really interested in painting with these colors. I moved on to swatching the colors myself to see what they look like and how easy they are to rewet. I was surprised to see how easy they were to rewet, since I know many of them are made from pigments that are generally hard to rewet. I think the pans in my set are relatively fresh, which would also explain why they are still softer than expected. This set has muted colors, mostly yellows reds and greens. The beige looking pan is almost unnoticeable on paper. There's no blue in this set, instead there's a grey and a black color. The colors in this set are burgundy yellow ochre, gerocide from Cyprus, natural sienna monte amiata, venetian red, burgundy red ochre, Dark Burnt Sienna, Iron Glimmer Violet, Bohemian Green Earth, Russian Green Earth, Raw Umber Greenish, Slate Grey Grey Green, Van Dyke Brown, Magnetite, and Selenite Marian Gloss. To test out the paints, I drew a made up little landscape scene. The paints don't have the same tinting strength as you'd find in phthalos or crinacridones, so I feel like the paper is even more present in the painting. I'm very likely to try the paints on textured cotton paper next to see what happens. My favorite element of this set is how the magnetite granulates. It separates even more sharply than lunar black. I love how it's mostly impossible to paint a scene accurately from reference with this color selection. It forces me to think outside the box and makes me more conscious of the creative decisions that I take.
The paints have no smell to them whatsoever, either dry or wet. They also don't feel special to the touch. I've had paints that would be a bit rough to the touch on the paper when they were dry. It happens with earth pigments. These 14 colors, however, were quite smooth on the paper. The pans were all dry to the touch as well, none of them separated or felt sticky. The colors are not bright and intense, but it's not a flaw. It's the nature of the pigments used. As for light fastness, there is no information provided with the set, but one can reference the pigments used in the pans on Kramer's website to see how they rate. It requires a bit of research and time, but the info is there. After painting the sketch with these colors, I decided that four colors I made myself would work well within this set. The colors are the Icelandic pigment trio from Kremer and Vivianite, also from Kremer. I bought the pigments for these and made the paints myself, as they are colors that I had wanted for a long time. I feel like the pink, yellow, green and blue are perfect to add to this set and I can squeeze the afpans in between the rows of the tins insert. I am very happy with the colors and the quality. I've never had any issues with Kremer's watercolors and I love the care that goes into crafting these paints and selecting colors for the sets. Their customer service is also really helpful and kind. The set is a bit expensive, but it's a good deal as it has 14 full pans of professional quality paint and a nice metal tin. Kremer has a few sales around the year, so you can still keep an eye on those and indulge then. As I did. I love this set. I hope you enjoyed this small review or tour. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye. Before I leave, here's a reminder that I have accounts on Redbubble and Society6 for fun things like stickers and mugs, and also an Etsy store where I sell prints, originals, and handmade paints. Bye bye. Thank you.